Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is exciting because I get to tell you where I'm up to with my post-Oxford life. The last time I did a life update was about this time last year and I was talking about how I was going into third year and what had happened in second year and now we're done uni is in past tense now Ooh. as you can see from my background we have returned to my old blue filming position I'm in my bedroom it is the worst place to film videos I think possibly ever because my windows are on this side so the light is always coming this way which means I'm dark on one side but if I film from that way, then we have my incredibly messy dresser behind me, and so this is how it's going to be. <laughs> For those of you who follow me on Instagram, which is right here, you will know that I have started a job. I have a job. Like a real world adult job. I have a full-time job. How many times can I say the word job in a sentence? I work in school. I have my own mug. My official title is GAP student, which I am because I am going back to university to do a master's next year. But the role is essentially a teaching assistant. So at the school that I'm working at, they don't have teaching assistants in the juniors. I am based in the juniors, which is specifically for me years three four and five and because they don't have teaching assistants they use us gaps as basically teaching assistants so i do a mixture of kind of helping with reading helping with maths and science helping to carry out lessons that need more than one person in the class basically so yeah every day i start work at 8 a.m and i'm officially contracted to 5 p.m although it tends to finish about half past four I get to work every morning at 7.15am and I have Weetabix and almond milk ready for me in kind of the staff room area. So I eat breakfast when I get there in the morning. I do then have very little time to edit and film because I'm working five days a week from 8 till 5 and because it's winter it is going dark in the evening. So. We're in a bit of a tricky situation, which means what I'm doing now is filming on a Saturday and Sunday, usually a Sunday because I see family on a Saturday, and I'm editing in any free time that I have. So when I arrive at school at quarter past seven, I get straight on my laptop. Oh! <coughs> I get straight on my laptop and I edit for half an hour whilst I eat my breakfast and that's every morning and then after school oh, saying after school is so strange after school I then will come home have a bit of chill time uh, make my tea because I, I eat tea quite early because I go to the gym usually a gym class at around 7 every night so I'll eat early and then I'll edit pretty much for the rest of the evening so even though you know I have a job in the daytime I'm pretty much working all the time. I do get really good holidays though because it's a school so that means that I've got time to film more um, in the holidays and I've got some series planned to be filmed whilst I'm off for the holidays like a whole series on sociology because that was one of my best subjects at A level and I have tutored it since as well which means that you know, I do feel like I know it quite well, and I do think that I can teach it quite well too. So I've still got all of my folders. I'm looking down because I'm looking at my folder, and I'm going to be trying to be planning some lessons almost that I can then teach to a camera to you guys who are interested in learning about sociology or need help with your A levels. That again is something that is happening. Definitely, it's happening, and now I've said it, it has to happen. <laughs> I'm planning in a lot of time where my weekends are going to be not, you know, I'm not going to be able to film anything at the weekends because I'm visiting people, which is alright, but it means that on some weekends I'll have to film two or even three videos. This is the second video I've filmed today, for example. Next weekend coming, I'm going to Edinburgh, 
then the weekend after that is my graduation so despite being in what is I guess my grad job I haven't actually graduated yet because there's so many graduation days at Oxford and I chose, because my friends were all choosing it as well, the 28th of September and it will all be vlogged, it will all be filmed. I'm hoping that I can vlog myself and my parents can also film from, you know, outside as well so we can keep like a, a multi-perspective video on my Oxford graduation and then I think after that I'll do a sit-down video on like what happens. I mean, I don't know what to expect. I think it's going to be like a weird traditionally type thing and we have to wear certain clothes. And we have a fluffy white gown, which I'm very excited about because the fur, I think, was what I'd envisaged my graduation to be like. And a lot of unis don't have fur hoods, so I'm happy about that. For those of you asking about my masters, yes, I do still want to do it. No, I have not applied yet to anywhere because, particularly for the course that I want to do, I can still apply now for this year's entry, which is strange because, you know, UCAS for undergrad means you have to apply like a whole year before, but with, I think some courses have a deadline, but this one doesn't, so I can't apply yet. I need to wait until probably about March time. Because I'm working so much, I will be writing my personal statement probably over Christmas and February half term. So get ready for some study with me content. I bet you weren't expecting that to pop back so soon. <laughs> Choices of uni that I'm thinking of at the moment are Cranfield, which in my previous life update video, you know, that hasn't changed from that. That's the one I still want to do. I'm also looking at UCL, Durham, possibly Edinburgh, although I like as much as I love the city, I don't like the course as much. And Cranfield is exactly what I want to do. I just didn't want to go straight there. One, because I couldn't afford it, which is why I'm doing this, you know, gap year of working. And also because I wanted to be sure that I wanted to do forensics and I think now considering I'm still wanting to do it I am sure that that's what I want to do. Another thing that I would like to focus more on this year other than obviously getting out proper content, practicing my editing and really just putting a lot more emphasis on my YouTube channel is learning a language. So I can speak some French already, sort of. <laughs> I also have been, you know, helping the year sixes at the school I'm working at with their French and have been finding it really quite rewarding and I just love speaking it and I don't get enough chance to speak the language. I love how it sounds. Oui, je l'adore. <laughs> In terms of learning French, because I already have a baseline, I have spent obviously watching on Jada Jade, she's one of my friends, I have spoken to her about doing the French exchange thing that she did, not really an exchange, what was it, it's like two weeks with a host family and I'm very interested in doing that, I just don't know when I would do it, I think I would have to do it either next summer or you know during my masters if we got a break because I'm not going to have a long enough holiday where I'm not also doing other things this year. But that is definitely something I would like to do in order to try and further my French to so make it like actually fluent. Yeah, that is me post Oxford. I'm loving life. Watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, even though I was literally just talking at you for like 15 minutes just about what I'm doing. So I guess hopefully it was interesting. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up if the sociology stuff and also just like general videos about getting jobs after uni or during uni because I got this job during my third year of uni would be helpful. Yeah, hit that subscribe button and thank you for watching.